This is Colin with Maker Farm. This is part 10 of the TiVo Tarantula build. In this video, we're going to do the Z motor assembly. To start, grab your last 2020 extrusion. Grab bag B 6 3, bag B 4 2, and B 4 1. You're also going to want your motor, the Acme rod, and then these two acrylic pieces and your printer frame. To start, grab two of the hidden corner brackets out of bag B-6-3. Make sure you have the set screws installed in them already, and then we're going to install those into the last extrusion. Then go ahead and install that extrusion on the top of the frame. Then align the extrusion with the vertical extrusions and tighten down the set screws. Now go ahead and peel the paper backing off of both of the acrylic pieces on both sides. Now open bag B-4-1. We're going to have the brass nut for our Acme rod, which is going to sit in this acrylic piece. Then there's going to be four M3 nuts and four M3 bolts that we will use to bolt it down, as shown in the video. Also in that bag, you're going to have two of the M4 nuts and M4 bolts. Go ahead and install them as shown in the video. Then align the T-nuts so that we can put them into the extrusion underneath the belt. To do that, you will need to lift your belt a little bit and get the right wrench and go ahead and tighten those down. We're going to move the location of this later on to make sure that it's perfectly aligned with the motor, so it doesn't need to be tightened all the way yet. Now get your other acrylic piece, bag B-4-2, and we're going to use this hardware to mount our motor and the acrylic piece on the top of the frame. Install the three M4 bolts and T-nuts into the three holes shown in the video. Then align the T-nuts and put the bracket on the top of the machine, making sure that it's flush with the edge of the extrusion. Now install your Z motor with a connector towards the back of the machine and use these small M3 bolts to secure the motor to the acrylic piece we just installed on the frame. Last, we're going to install the Acme rod up through the bottom of the Z nut. Then we will install the Z motor coupler and then we will align 
the motor along with the bracket. Make sure to adjust this bracket so the acne rod is straight up and down with the Z extrusion. You can also move your motor forward and back to make sure that the acne rod is perfectly vertical in that direction also.